six, five, four, three, two, one. Engine ignition. And liftoff. Liftoff of SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket, launching Dragon on the 25th mission to resupply the International Space Station with cool science and a new advanced instrument to more effectively study our planet's climate. into flight, successful liftoff from the Kennedy Space Center, Launch Complex 39A. For the point of highest stresses that the vehicle will experience during ascent. There's the call out for maximum dynamic pressure. So from here, the stresses on the vehicle will get lower and lower as we raise our altitude. Coming up, we've got five events back to back. The first of those will be main engine cutoff, or MECO. That's where all nine Merlin 1D engines on the first stage will shut down. I'm back, chill. Following that will be stage separation, where the first and second stages will separate. The first stage will flip around to make sure it's headed back towards the landing site, and our drone ship named a shortfall of Gravitas. And then the second stage will ignite its Merlin vacuum engine to boost Dragon into low Earth orbit during second engine start number one. We just heard the call out there for engine chill-in on the second stage engine starting. The last event is the boost back burn on the first stage. That's to reduce the velocity of that vehicle as we prepare for atmospheric entry. Now, all of those events happen over about 45 seconds. And again, they are main engine cutoff followed by stage separation, first stage flip, second stage engine start, and then boost back burn start. All those happening in just about five seconds. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. Fantastic sight. And back start up. So the first three Eight of those events are complete. And now the boost back burn is underway. The uh, shot on our screen right now is of the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. And as this uh, view toggles, you may catch the first stage. It is firing its Merlin 1D engines that burn on the first stage, lasting about 30 seconds. And you can see the plume on the first stage on the left-hand side of your screen as we're doing the boost back burn. Stage one boost back shutdown. Successful shutdown of the first stage Merlin engines for the boost back burn. Second stage engine continuing to burn. That'll continue to burn until about the T plus eight minute and a 40 second mark into the mission. Now, you're just joining us. Welcome to our 25th commercial resupply mission to the International Space Station or our customer NASA. You're watching our 30th mission of 2022 and the third Dragon flight to the International Space Station this year. We lifted off just about four minutes ago from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. On your screen are views of our first stage on the left-hand side of your screen with its grid fins deployed periodically, controlling its attitude to make its way back home. On the right-hand side of your screen is a shot of the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage, performing its burn uh, it'll continue to burn for about another four minutes to take Dragon up to low Earth orbit. Now, speaking of the entry sequence on the first stage, to make its way back to that drone ship, it's going to have to execute two more burns. The first of those is the entry burn, where we'll ignite three of the Merlin engines, and that helps slow down the stage as we enter the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere. Following that, there will be a second burn, the landing burn, 
and there will only ignite a single Merlin 1D engine that'll bring the vehicle speed down to zero for a soft touchdown on the drone ship. We've got some great sunlight on the vehicle, and you're periodically seeing some plumes of white. That's actually from our nitrogen gas thrusters that are helping to keep the stage, the first stage oriented engines down as we are in the vacuum of space at the moment. But once we get through that entry burn, the grid fins, which are deployed, you can see two of them on your screen, will then take over control as we start to get atmospheric authority. And then the stage, the first stage will only use those grid fins to steer back towards our drone ship. So entry burn expected to start about 10 seconds for now. One FPS is safe. Just taking a quick look in stage two engine performance, about nominal. Continuing to burn, we've got stage about three two. more minutes stage for that one burn. Entry burn startup. So you can see the velocity on the first stage, bottom left-hand side of your screen, rapidly slowing down stage as you fire entry burn shut down. the entry burn. That burn only lasting about 15 seconds. And now we're doing a quick attitude correction to make sure we're pointing the heat shield down. And that uh, entry burn and the plume coming back on the stage ends up depositing a small layer of carbon on the vehicle, which is what gives our first stages that awesome sooty look once we've reflown them. Now Falcon 9 also has four landing legs. They're made of carbon fiber and aluminum honeycomb. They're placed around the base of the rocket and they'll deploy just prior to landing during the landing burn. If we're successful in recovering this Falcon 9, it'll mark its fifth Stage successful landing transonic. and our 130th landing overall of a Falcon 9, including Falcon Heavy missions. So landing burn coming up shortly. Stage one landing burn. Keep an eye out on the speed on the left-hand side of your screen. That's the velocity of the first stage. We're going to see that come all the way down to zero. On the right-hand side of your screen is our drone ship. And also keep an eye out on the left-hand side of your screen for landing leg deploy. Stage one landing leg deploy. People real excited behind me, right in the middle. Fifth landing for this Falcon 9, 130th landing overall for an orbital class rocket. Beautiful sight to see. Now coming up next is second engine cutoff number one, or Seco one. We'll expect the Merlin vacuum engine to stop firing just about 30 seconds from now. It's the carrying the Dragon spacecraft to its drop-off orbit around our planet. After we complete second engine cutoff number one, we'll do a quick check to make sure that the burn performance is as expected. FPS. We're in the targeted orbit. We hear, usually hear that called out as a, uh, a nominal orbital insertion or a good orbit call out on the loops. back shut down. 